baby, let me see it. Jelly, baby, I just wanna eat it. Kakademka zuri joka cover, kisham sham kinyam kitam tam. There is a high chance you have seen these videos in your social circles. Advances in technology have made it possible to create these sort of humorous takes on politicians, but there's a dark side to this craft. Where the technology used to manipulate videos and photos of prominent people to misinform. They are called deep fakes. Deepfakes use deep learning artificial intelligence to replace the likeness of one person with another in video and other digital media. There are concerns that deepfake technology can be used to create fake news and misleading videos. Morgan Freeman is one of the most renowned actors of our time. I'm sure you have seen his face before. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? Videos were being taken as proof that something actually happened. Now, when they manipulate videos, they start uh, with something as easy. So the easiest deepfake uh, which we have seen in Kenya and in the countries you operate in, in South Africa, Nigeria and Senegal, it's where somebody takes a video of somebody, of a prominent figure, of a public figure, and they slow it down. They play it at 0 0.5. And what they are doing with that video is they are trying to make the person look drunk. So it's a narrative that they are taking. So if you say you know that person X drinks a lot and has a reputation as a drunkard, you slow down the video of him when he's speaking and then it is looked at as if he was speaking publicly drunk. In the beginning, in the beginning, yeah, in the, in, in, uh, in the Listen properly. In this video of South Africa's president was heavily circulated across social media platforms, with some media houses picking it up and putting it on air. But was it a real or fake? It's somebody who just took the correct video, but they muted the audio and added theirs. So they have made it very grainy, so you cannot actually see Zuma's movements. Our membership figures stood at 769,800 and 700. Listen properly. Anyone can be a victim of deepfake. However, the creators of this type of videos target individuals with authority, celebrities, individuals whose videos will cause reactions and have a higher circulation. According to Africa Check, deepfake videos have been propelled by technology as they keep getting better by the day. American actor and comedian Jordan Peele imitated United States 44th President Barack Obama and it all looked real. Deepfakes can be able to depict different things including comedy or spread false information, especially during a political season and elections like the times we are in. It has happened before and experts now worry it is bound to happen again. Things machines cannot learn. Yes, like um, we, we know how, for example, the top politicians in Kenya speak. We know how, how they move their heads, how they put out their hands. So that stuff machines cannot learn. So how can one identify a deepfake video? You just have to be careful, like reading, so that you notice uh, the font has changed, the tone of voice has changed, the pictures, uh, the clips are becoming much more grainier. And then now once you realize that, 
uh, you can detect a uh, fake video. Also, search Google to see if anyone else is reporting on the content of a video. Take screen grabs from the video and do a Google reverse image search to determine if there is a longer original video. Search for a transcript of a speech to compare against the video you are checking. Rely on trusted sources and be wary of anonymous accounts posting videos. Be wary of brief clips. Deepfakes work best with short videos because of the time and skill it takes to make longer ones. Thousands of videos are circulated every day in our social circles and social media platforms. However, if you click share before taking a second look at it, then you have helped creators of deepfakes achieve their goals. If you're not careful, you just fall victim. And a lot of people in Kenya are not digitally literate. Yes, they know how to read but they do not know how to vet uh, uh, information they see online. They have no idea. Yes, they, operate, they know how to post on Facebook or Instagram, but they have no idea why they are seeing the content they are seeing, or they have no idea how that content is going to be dispersed. Though the law may take time to take its course, there are those who have taken it upon themselves to be the digital watchdogs of the digital streets. While the authorities figure out a way of dealing with this, experts are now urging everyone to be digitally responsible to ensure that they don't fulfill the goals of the deep fix by taking time to fact check before sharing any videos.